Hey everyone, and welcome to Conventional Wisdom Colossal Con 2017. Basically, you know, just my looking back at some of the conventions that I've attended. You know, my thoughts, my personal experiences, and the cool stuff that I saw, learned, and purchased at the convention. Um, so basically, just a quick rundown of the weekend for me. Uh, well, first off, I got down there on Thursday evening. I was surprised to be able to get down there on Thursday because um, I forgot my friends had booked the room Thursday to Sunday. So right there, that was an awesome little bit for me. And it's awesome to be, to be down at the convention on Thursday because you know if you come down Friday or Saturday, <laughs> good luck finding parking and having to deal with you know with the long lines for registration potentially. So my first thing that I want to state is if you can get down to a convention on Thursday evening I'd say do it you know like if you can if you have a vacation time and the room already and stuff like that definitely do it if you don't have a room I would not suggest sleeping in your car that's probably a bad plan but um, I got down there Thursday I walked around a bit as Doctor Who uh, the first doctor Mr. Hartnell and you know while I was chilling at one point during the evening I ran into, well, I was sitting down and a person cosplaying the seventh doctor um, saw me and was like, oh, hey, Brad, you know, because I said something on the Classicon page. So I got a picture with them, and really quick. <laughs> now, um, he's on the right, you know, in the um, white suit and the fedora and all that stuff, and I'm on the left with um, basically, you know, the nice attire and the not so great wig. And one of the recurring themes for this convention is um, I have some work to do on some cosplay stuff. Uh, basically to make it more engaging. And But I'll talk about that a bit later on. <coughs> but, um, so, you know, Thursday night was just walking around, uh, hanging out with my friends and such. And really quick, speaking of friends, you know, I just want to give a shout-out to my roommates, uh, Jordan, Ryan, Courtney, Sean. Uh, you guys are awesome because I know you from the One Piece group. And, you know, if I hadn't had the room with you guys, I probably wouldn't have been down in Sandusky, so thank you for that. <laughs> I appreciate it very much. You're all wonderful roommates, and if you get a chance to room with these people, definitely, I would say do it. They're good people if you need to fill spots and remember. Just saying. <laughs> um, and also, while I'm talking about friends, the cool thing that happened during the weekend that you know, I want to quickly address is, um, you know, a lot of my friends... A lot of my friends from Facebook, you know, saw me at one point or another, and I got to, you know, at least say hey, you know, and talk with them for a minute or two, you know, whether it was, you know, Jessica in the Artist Alley, or Megan outside of, um, I forget what it was, or, you know, just other people, like, it was cool seeing you guys, and, like, the fact that you recognize me outside of Facebook, and want to at least say, hey, Brad, what's going on? Like, that's cool, and I appreciate it. Unfortunately, also, there are some people that I didn't get to see this weekend. You know, um, some people that I talked to specifically, like, hey, that wanted to see me for some reason. I don't know why. But um, I do apologize for that first off. And hopefully, at the next convention, we can coordinate something. Potentially Mitsuri Con, or Ohio Con, or Nyan Con, if you attend it. But, um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, Friday, I did a Pokemon shoot, a Fairy Tale shoot, um, and... Again, <laughs> for the fairy tale shoot, um, I have some work to do on my Gajio cosplay. Basically, last year, um, I done Gajio as what it's called Music Man. Um, basically, he loves to play the guitar and he wears a white suit and a uh, white door with it. This year, I was like, okay, I want to go back to like original Gajio, his normal attire, but um, kind of like whenever he's going metal, because. It's from the anime manga Fairy Tale, and he has that magic power with iron. I'm not going to get into more detail, but yeah. Um, my thought was, you know, I'll have like a gray sweatshirt, and like I'll get, I'll make um like an, um, I don't know what to call, but basically he turns his arm into like kind of a piston that he can shoot out to like damage people from like long distances at times. I didn't get to do the piston thing, but I at least had the sweatshirt and just... It, it needs work, definitely. I'm just going to say that. Um, I can't really remember <laughs> much else to say about Friday, except for the later evening. 
um, basically, I'd stayed at the convention until 3 a.m., you know, when the convention center actually closes, um, because my friend had said, yo, hey, um, can you stick around? My friend has a panel running really late this evening, and, you know, I'm probably going to be having a few drinks with them, and I want someone to be able to get me safely back to the hotel. It was one of my roommates. <laughs> so I said yes, and um, I attended the um, Pixel Vixens event. If you don't know who they are, you might be a bit young. Uh, so, really quick, you know, just send the kids off for a second. Basically, <laughs> give me a second for that. Um, Alright, hopefully kids don't hear this, but um, they do a, bur a burlesque show. Uh, basically, you know, it's you know pretty girls getting up on stage and dancing in a very sexy manner. I appreciated it. And not just because, you know, I'm single, but, like, legit, the songs were interesting, you know, for each character, and, like, the cool, they had cool choreography, you know, I mean, freaking, oh, hey, anybody can just go up on stage and go, oh, look at my boobs, oh, I'm so hot and attractive, but no, they did some actual things, and I, <laughs> I have to give them respect for that. And also, you know, the in-between bits, you know, introducing each performer was pretty cool and interesting. And also the characters they covered, I thought it was cool. And they did Wendy from Wendy's, because, you know, that's a big meme now. Velma from Scooby-Doo, Misty from Pokemon. One of the Digimon, and then I forget who the other two characters were. I'm not as involved, but, yeah. <laughs> so, that was cool. And if you're an adult, and you're looking for something cool to do at, like, 1 a.m., Pixel Vixens. They do a good show, just saying. <laughs> and not just because they're pretty because it's fun and entertaining and interesting. <laughs> um, and then going into Saturday, I did a few more shoots, walked around with my friends, saw the dealer's room. Again, you know, I had pleasant times. Um, sorry, I can't give a lot of details. It's It's been a week, and I'm trying to do this quick. Um, and then as for Sunday, it was pretty much a short day for me. You know, last day of the convention, um, I hit the flea market at one point. And I got a few cool things, which I'm about to talk about in a minute. But, um, you know, I did that. I did a few passes, got some pictures, and then I left. <laughs> like, it was a good convention for me. I really enjoyed it. I did, unfortunately, get a bit too much sun, so I got burned, but I've healed now, being a week later. And, yeah, I would definitely recommend going back there again. Now, really quick, stuff that I got from the convention, you know, the stuff that I bought. Uh, a TARDIS plush, which... Oh, don't even tell me. Okay, oh, I swear. There it goes. Very squeeze it, it does the TARDIS sound effects. Very cool. Probably shouldn't have squeezed it, my bad. Um, I got that for $5 at the flea market. Uh, the fourth Doctor Scarf. Again, may not be 100% accurate, but it has a little Doctor Who tag. $5. So, go with those things, $5 each. And then at Artist Alley, I got some pictures. Um, basically, uh, since I want to say Mitsuri Con last year, I've been trying to you know help support artists in Artist Alley a little bit. You know, like go to an artist table and you want to at least buy a thing or two. Not all of them, but like just one person has some eye-catching stuff. So I got three pictures like this. This is Luffy from One Piece. Edward and Alphonse from um, Full Metal Alchemist, and then I have a Zoro picture in here that's. I'm not going to pull out, but I'll show a picture of it later on. Um, they were selling you know, each print for $20 each, or you know, to, uh, buy two, get a third free. So I got three pictures for 40 bucks. So that was pretty cool. Because, you know, I get, they put in a lot of work, obviously, on their projects. And, you know, I want to, I, I want to show some support, at least. And also, because I'm the character investigator, these kind of, like, you know, single character pictures would be cool to hang up, you know, in my office, my studio, my whatever you want to call this space. So I might start doing that. I'm probably going to need a lot more wall space. More big binders for stuff or something. But, um, yeah, so I got that stuff. And then also stuff that I picked up and I learned at the convention. Um, at this convention, I decided to try something out. Um, this is... I would call it a pencil pouch, or it's a crafting pouch. Basically, you know, it's just a little thing with a zipper on it. Um, I had this attached to my belt, you know, every day uh, by cutting little slits in the back. 
because basically, you know, it's a little extra space. Currently, I have my glasses in here. I have my keys, my selfie stick, because I have a selfie stick now, and a few other odds and ends so that my pockets weren't overflowing with stuff. This is very convenient and handy if you don't have a lot of pocket space, but you at least have a belt to loop this onto. So, just a thought there. Also, if I can pick one up really quick, garment bags for storing cosplay outfits. Again, this is very awesome and handy. Um, I got these at the Dollar Tree, Dollar Store, Dollar General, Dollar whatever. So they are admittedly very thin material, but it does help keeping things organized. You keep all your, you know, like outfit stuff together. If you have little odds and ends like gloves or wigs or whatever, you can just toss them in the bottom of the bag. And it keeps everything together. I'm definitely going to be doing this with future cosplays from now on. Keep everything nice and organized. <sighs> and then also my other learning things for this. Um, one of the sentiments my friends expressed throughout the weekend was um, they felt that ClassCon might be getting a bit too big for the Kalahari, unfortunately. Um, and one of the big things that I can agree with on that <coughs> is that it was very crowded at the convention. Like, you can still get around, but there was definitely a lot of people. Um, but also parking. Um, last year I'd complained about you know not being able to find parking very easily, and this year was kind of the same, except I would like to state that the Kalahari staff and the convention staff at least had some response to that. <coughs> In that, um, you know, uh, during the early hours of the morning, like maybe 10 to like 12 or 1 o'clock, you know, they would direct traffic to the front lawn, you know, where the big sign for the Kalahari is, where people could park. Um, you know, they had everything organized, it worked out pretty well, and there were a lot of cars up there. Like, it was insane. I probably should have taken a picture. But, um, yeah, so they planned for that. My only concern with that is, you know, you're parking your car on grass, and, like, if it had rained, there could have been a lot of people potentially getting stuck in the mud. I feel like that is a possibility. It didn't. We got lucky, so it was good, but... Yeah, so they might need to find some way to expand parking, or more people might have to take shuttles, you know, from their not Kalahari hotels or something. Because that could suck. Um, but yeah. And then also, one other quick thing that I've decided on um, to help with my cosplaying is um, my buddy Dan. Uh, here's a couple of pictures of him in different costumes. Uh, he was going around the convention in a few different outfits throughout the weekend. Uh, the one specifically I'm thinking of is the Baywatch outfit. Basically, he was playing some music as he was running slow motion through the hallways. You know, like, safely and all that, because he's, he's on staff. And um, it made me realize one of the things that could help make my cosplay more interesting and engaging is to add that audio element to my costumes. Um, First Doctor, I didn't get as many responses because, you know, old dude, you know, white hair pulled down. It could be freaking Doc Brown, Albert Einstein, other historical characters. <laughs> However, you know, if I carry around the TARDIS, you know, or my little Dalek Funko figure, and I'm playing the music, you know, or the sounds of the TARDIS going off, people might go, Doctor Who? Or if I'm doing Brooke and I'm playing like different music and stuff, people might be like, oh man, I love Dragon Force through the Fire and Flames. Or if I'm doing Bing Sake, New World, and Bone to be Wild, three of Brooke's songs, they might notice that and take interest. <sighs> so really, um, Colossal Con for me, it was a good experience. I got to build some relationship, strengthen relationships with some of my friends slash roommates at the convention, and I appreciate that. You guys are awesome. I love you. Don't, <laughs> don't lose that awesome, wonderful spark that you have. You're all good people, and I care about you, and just be good noodles. And also, really quick, speaking of being a good noodle... Um, you know, one thing I want to stress at the end of every convention video, please, 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 you know, be kind to everyone at the convention, you know, the convention goers, the convention staff, and especially the venue staff. In order for us to be able to have, you know, Colossal Con, Mitsuri Con, Ohio Con, at different convention centers, the con staff have to be able to convince the venue staff that's, you know, us, the con goers, are nice, good people. 
yeah, we dress in weird, interesting outfits, but we're not jerks. <coughs> And to do that, you know, just do the simple things, you know, don't leave trash on the floor, you know, don't be obnoxious and destroy property, like, be a good noodle, do not be a bad egg, <laughs> like, for real, it's, it's pretty important, because, I mean, you know, if we're jerks at, at the Kalahari or the Marriott or whatever, like, they might be like, it's not really worth the cost you know, to the property damage and all that for us to let you back in. So, unfortunately, we'll have to deny you because you guys are jerks. So, be good. You know, be kind. And also, you know, to the convention goers, you know, there may be some new cosplayers. Like, I met a person who, too, this was their first convention. You know, if you're mean to them, it's going to turn them off to the con scene. And that's a terrible thing. So, be kind, guys. And also for the convention staffers. Like, they're putting their time... <laughs> You know, they're using their time to, you know, make sure this convention goes well and it can go next year and it can do all these fun, interesting, entertaining things. You know, so a simple, you know, thanks for giving me those directions or thanks for pointing that out to me, convention staffer, can go a long way. You know, if you're pleasant to them, they'll be pleasant to you. But if you do run into an issue with a con staffer, you know, abusing their power, definitely take that information to, like, con ops. And let them know, like, hey, this person was being blah, blah, blah and not cool. Um, so, <laughs> with all of that heavy information out of the way, finally, um, I don't really have much else to say. So, I will just cut to the, you know, interesting photo montage. My shots from the floor. Um, if you want to see my other, sh my other shots from specific shoots, um, hit me up. I covered One Piece, Soul Eater, Fairy Tale, Pokemon. I think that's it. If I have more, I'll list them. I'll list somewhere to the side. But um, again, thank you for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it. I hope you attended ClausCon and I got to see you this year. And if you didn't and you want to meet a cool, interesting character, you know, let me know. I plan to be there next year. And also, my next convention, I'm pretty sure, is going to be Matsuri Con in August. <laughs> so, yeah. As always, everyone, have fun, stay safe, and remember, every character has a story to tell. I'm Valley Bradley James, the Character Investigator. Peace.